Now that our DOS system is set up and configured, you may want to take some time and explore the many games available for MS-DOS. Unfortunately, not all of the games will install and run without issue. For that, we have an essential tool, the boot disk. There are many uses for boot disks. For starters, you can boot the system with a simple configuration to eliminate possible causes of a problem. The instruction manual for old MS-DOS games, like King's Quest, have a troubleshooting section. One of the troubleshooting steps is to create a boot disk. That eliminates the possibility of the system configuration being the issue. To get a boot disk with a simple configuration, you can either download a floppy disk image from allbootdisks.com, or you can make one yourself using the format slash s command. Then you want to create a config sys file and add the lines for HiMem and EMM386. Alternatively, you can set up a boot disk that has a very complicated configuration with options to accommodate many different use cases. Here is a boot disk from Phil's computer lab that has a boot menu with various system configurations for RAM usage, mouse, and CD-ROM support. Another very practical use for boot disks is booting into an earlier version of MS-DOS. Some programs just won't run under version 6.22. Windows 1.04 is a good example of this. You can use an MS-DOS 5 boot disk with a simple configuration, and Windows 1.04 will load up no problem. Similarly, you can use boot disks to test out the many different flavors of DOS. Boot disks can also be set up for a specific purpose, like running hardware diagnostics, or connecting to a network. Some very creative and dedicated members of the community have absolutely stretched the limits of what can fit on a single floppy disk. Let's look at this boot disk that runs Windows 3.0. Clearly, it's been very stripped down, so there's a limited number of programs included. But this is the operating environment for Windows 3.0 running on top of MS-DOS. From here, you can learn how to make your own boot menu or find a file manager that's right for you.